In 2011, head football coach Tom O'Brien led an impressive Wolfpack team to another winning season. Led by captains George Bryan and J.R. Sweezy, state set records both on and off the field. Wolfpack Nation has transformed Carter-Finley Stadium into a fortress as the Pack won six home games. Glennon with an empty backfield, take the shotgun snap. Clemson rushes for Glennon, fires, Enzo caught! Touchdown, Wolfpack! NC State led the Atlantic Coast Conference in turnover margin thanks in large part to 24 interceptions. Sophomore cornerback David Emerson had 11 interceptions and took one in for a touchdown against Virginia. Here's Watford, play action faking, throws from his own end zone, the ball is picked off by Emerson at the 10-5, dives for the end zone, touchdown Wolfpack! Emerson not only had more picks than any player in the ACC, but also led the nation, intercepting four more passes than any other player. When Earl Wolf was not intercepting passes for the pack defense, he was making tackles. Wolf led the team in total tackles with 99 for the season. Audie Cole had one tackle fewer than Wolf, finishing with 98 tackles. In the middle of the defense was Terrell Manning. The pack linebacker finished second in the ACC with 13 tackles for loss. From intercepting passes to recovering fumbles, Manning did it all in 2011. It's the fourth down punt again by Larson. Hangs it up, Graham makes the catch. Now he spins away from one defender at the 20, to the 25, runs right to the 30. Down the sideline of the 40, 45, 50. Here the foot race is on, 30 yard line, 20. TJ Graham is going all the way for a state touchdown. Throughout his career, specialist TJ Graham has been nothing but special for the Wolfpack. The senior Raleigh native secured the ACC record for most kickoff return yards during a career against Clemson. In 2011, Graham amassed over 1,000 yards in returns. On the offensive side of the ball, first-year starting quarterback Mike Glennon used his powerful arm to throw 28 touchdown passes during the regular season. Against Maryland, Glennon had a career day with six total touchdowns. Phillip Rivers is the only other pack quarterback to record six total touchdowns in a game. On the ground, James Washington ran for seven scores in 2011. Washington had three 100-yard rushing games for the pack and totaled over 1,150 total yards during the regular season. Here's a run to the left side. He breaks the tackle, 40-yard line, 35-30. On his horse, 25-20, down the left sideline, 10-5. Touchdown, Wolfpack! Against Virginia, Mike Glennon threw for three touchdowns and David Emerson intercepted two passes, returning one for a clinching touchdown as NC State defeated the Cavaliers 28-14. Tony Creasy and Brian Underwood were on the receiving end of Glennon's three touchdowns. Both notched their first career touchdowns in the first half and Underwood's 79-yarder in the third quarter marked the longest catch by a freshman in school history. Up the sideline, 40, 50, the foot race is on to the 40, 30, 20, 10, he's gonna outrun the defense, touchdown State. Brandon Bishop ended any hopes for a Virginia comeback as he sealed a victory for State with an interception. the fifth straight year, State scored a rivalry win over North Carolina, this time behind a smothering defensive effort that limited the Tar Heels to 32 yards of total offense in the first half as the Wolfpack notched a 13-0 shutout win at Carter-Finley Stadium. The defense beat up the Heels all afternoon, holding them to only three rushing yards. NC State continued to have an eye for balls thrown by the opposition as the pack picked off three passes. Earl Wolf, David Emerson, and Daryl Cato Bishop all had interceptions. Terrell Manning led the defense with 11 tackles, including one sack, and broke up three passes. TJ Graham hauled in the only touchdown on the afternoon, a leaping 12-yard catch beneath the goalposts from Mike Lennon. That would be all the pack needed on this day as the Tar Heels never threatened. State has now won five in a row over UNC and is 5-0 with Tom O'Brien as head coach.
claim the end, when we have to keep our point. Got to go after them and make it a physical, physical, physical game. Decked out in red from head to toe, NC State was ready to play against number seven Clemson in front of a fervid sold out Carter Finley Stadium. The Wolfpack offense exploded for 27 unanswered points in the second quarter and held the Tigers offense to only 19 yards. For the game, the defense had four turnovers and six sacks in a 37 to 13 homecoming victory. Clemson at the 15-yard line, play action faking his board. He's hit from behind, fumbles a football. It is picked up by Terrell Manning. Manning's got it. In a nearly flawless performance with no turnovers, the Pack capitalized on great field position scoring at will against Clemson. Senior tight end George Bryan scored the 16th touchdown of his career in the second quarter. Looking, fires toward Bryan. He makes a great cut to the five. He's at the three and dives into the end zone. Touchdown, Wolfpack. Freshman place kicker Nicholas Sadie had the most prolific game of his career, scoring 13 of the pack's 37 points. Sadie hit all three of his field goal attempts and connected on all four of his extra point attempts. Paced by Mike Glennon's school record tying six touchdowns, NC State stormed back from a 41 to 14 deficit to beat Maryland 56 to 41, completing the largest comeback in school history and claiming bowl eligibility for the third time in the last four years. Glennon finished the game with 306 yards and six total touchdowns. Mike Glennon's 55 attempts and 36 completions were both career highs. Tobias Palmer got the scoring started in the third quarter as he snagged the touchdown that kicked off the pack's record comeback. The throw over the middle, wide open, catch is made, touchdown, Tobias Palmer. Tony Creasy scored two touchdowns through the air and hauled in eight balls while running for 51 yards on 14 carries. James Washington finished as the leading rusher, toting the ball 20 times for 90 yards and scoring the Wolfpack's go-ahead touchdown. George Bryan had another excellent game on senior day, piling up 79 yards and one touchdown on eight catches. Brian finished the regular season ranked ninth in school history with 123 receptions. Terrell Manning forced two fumbles and recovered one as Brandon Bishop pounced on the other two fumbles and led the pack with 10 tackles. Earl Wolf and C.J. Wilson each recorded an interception with Wilson returning his 59 yards for the final score of the game. Now he gets it out of the shotgun, he'll throw. Zips it left side, picked off. Picked off by the pack of the 45-50, 45-40. Down the right side goes C.J. Wilson. He's going to take it to the house. Touchdown State, and that'll seal it. Thanks to big plays on offense and even bigger plays on defense, NC State downed Louisville to win the 2011 Belt Bowl in Charlotte, 31 to 24. State wasted no time and took its opening drive into the end zone. Mike Glennon orchestrated a no huddle offensive drive capped by a six yard touchdown pass to TJ Grant. The drive covered 69 yards on 14 plays and the pack grabbed a seven to zero lead. Redshirt junior Tobias Palmer broke the game open and scored on a 35-yard touchdown pass in the second quarter. Here's Glennon to throw long down the left sideline. Caught by Palmer. Great catch of the five. He's into the end zone. Touchdown, State. Before the first half ended, T.J. Graham caught one more touchdown pass, an electric 68-yard score. To the 30, still moving. Graham breaks a tackle, 10, 5, right corner end zone, touchdown, Wolfpack. The senior wide receiver and specialist finished the game with 179 total yards and two touchdowns. On the defensive end, senior linebacker Audie Cole finished with a game-high 10 tackles, including a pair of sacks and four tackles for loss. Fellow linebacker Terrell Manning added six tackles and an interception. The Pack's All-American David Amerson struck with two interceptions on the night, returning the first for a 65-yard defensive touchdown. Fire.
Amerson broke the ACC single season record for most interceptions in a season, finishing the year with 13. His second interception sealed the victory for the pack and started the celebrations. Quarterback Mike Glennon took home MVP honors as he finished with 21 of 33 for 264 yards and three touchdowns. Captains George Bryan, J.R. Sweezy, and the rest of the senior class finished their Wolfpack careers, leaving a lasting legacy of success. Wolfpack on three! One, two, three! Wolfpack! Wolfpack on three! One, two, three! Wolfpack! And the streak stays alive at five. State beats Carolina for the fifth straight year. With world-class facilities and a talented coaching staff, NC State will have to make room in the trophy case for future bowl and ACC championships.